Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. God is so good. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> and he's greatly to be praised. Bless his holy name. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Yes, I do have a title at Total Restoration Ministries, 235 Ross Avenue, Hamilton, Ohio, 45013. Yes, yes I do, yes. Uh, pastor Lewis Ruffin. I was a pastor at Holy Apostolic Church for 13 years. I was located at 537 Knightsbridge Drive in Hamilton, Ohio. But due to circumstances beyond my control, <laughs> yeah, things, uh, things did not uh, work out uh, money-wise. You know, you got to have money if you want to do things. Faith is good and money is good. And faith and money is double good. <laughs> so, uh, Sister Jan and myself, we are members of Total Restoration Ministries, 235 Ross Avenue, Hamilton, Ohio. It's on the corner of D and Ross in Hamilton, in the Rossville Historic Area. Amen. So we uh, just wanted you to note that you might want to visit our church Total Restoration Minutes. We are on Facebook with Bishop Damon White, Evangelist Salome White. Amen. Uh, be nice if you would uh, check us out. Amen. Total Restoration Ministries. Yes. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and we honor you and we give you glory. We thank you because you're great and Greatly to be praised. We thank you, God, because there's no one better than you. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to forgive us for every sin, every transgression, every missing the mark. Lord, we thank you for blotting out our sins, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we need healing. We need healing, Lord, from the crown of our head to the soul. Huh. Of our feet, O oh God. And you are a divine healer. Yes, you are. You are a healer, O oh God, of every disease, O oh God. We thank you. We need healing, Lord, mentally and physically and spiritually. We need to be healed, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because your hand is not short. <laughs> we thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Because you don't like anything, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, how you brought us through sicknesses and diseases. We thank you, God, because you covered our sins. You uh, washed away our sin. You sanctified us uh, from sin, oh God. And Lord, we just say it again, we thank you. And we plead the blood. Yes, we do. We plead the blood. We thank you because you are forgiving God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We thank you, God, because you have forgiven us. Yes. Mm. We confess our faults to you, O oh God, and say how sorry we are, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lift up every bow down here in the name of Jesus. We thank you for encouragement. We thank you for comfort, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you exhort us through your word, Lord, and through friends, oh God, even people that we don't even know. We thank you, Lord, for a word from them. Now, Lord, I have your way today, and we'll be careful to praise you and give you the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Glad to be here with you today. Amen. Appreciate your loyalty. Over 500 episodes 
of Christian Care Ministry. Yes. Yes, and so I've I've found a book that I wrote. Amen. And so I want to read a portion of it to you. Amen. Uh, this is some at uh, some title. Amen. Uh, New vision. Yeah. New vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's a scripture uh, at the beginning, uh, the bottom of the page of the table of contents of new vision. Amen. Because there is a table of contents. Yes. Mm-hmm. Create in me a new vision, <laughs> O oh God, and renew my mind to glorify you, Lord. Open my mouth, and I will praise you. Jesus, you are the true eternal God. That's worth repeating. Jesus, you are the true eternal God. I bow down and worship you, for you are worthy of all my praise. Yes, you are, Lord. Yes, you are. Amen. You are so worthy. New vision. That's what we're talking about today. And I think about uh, as every man and woman has received a gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Thank you to everyone that has ministered to me, you know, particularly since October is uh, Ministry Appreciation Month. Amen. We should always appreciate the ministries. Yes. And thanks to everyone that has given me the privilege to minister. I've been honored to serve in several churches during my 40 years experience of holy salvation. Each church has given me spiritual insight on helping people draw closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> yeah. My mission is to grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Yes, uh-huh, yeah. I'm so thankful, amen, uh, for what God is doing. Uh, he's doing great things, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. New vision, yeah, new vision. We got to have new vision, yeah, mm-hmm. Where there is no vision, mm -hmm, the people perish. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, that's right. You know, the church is going to be all right because the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. That's what's lacking. This is the layer to see in eight. Yeah, Matthew chapter 24, and then a chapter in Revelation that deals with the Laodicean church, yes. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you, yes. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, our heart, you know, the pituitary glands back here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the heart's the center of your mind, yes. Mm -hmm. It says, purify your heart, your double mind. You don't want to be double-minded. It's not two gods, it's only one God. His name is Jesus, and you've got to be determined. And I made up mine, amen, to have a new vision to please the Lord Jesus Christ in all that you do. They charge to keep or have a new vision, a God to glorify, mm. A never dying soul to save and fit it for the sky. It's going to be a catchaway. Yeah, I'm going to take off. I'm going to be out of here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Glory to God. I'm going to be out of here one of these days. Mm -hmm. To serve the present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, 
may in all my power engage to do my master's will. Talking about a new vision. A new vision, yeah, yeah. New is a general term that means anything not known, thought of, or experienced before. Novel has a more specific meaning that includes new, uh, original, and strikingly different from the usual. Fresh means showing noticeable signs of newness with liveliness, brightness, or energy. Yes, fresh. You know, uh, our church, Total Restoration Ministries, Bishop Damon White, uh, has a revelation name for our Bible class on Wednesday night from 7 to 8 or 8.15, somewhere in that area. Fresh means showing noticeable signs of newness with liveliness, brightness, or energy. And I declare unto you, I want you to know without a fact that's one of the greatest Bible classes I've ever attended in my 40 years of going to church. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. It's quite a, quite a statement, but it's a true statement. Amen. Uh, he's a revelation man. Yes, he is. God bless him. He's a humble man. Yeah. Bishop Damon White. Mm, what a preacher. Woo! Mm. Fresh means showing noticeable signs of newness with liveliness, brightness, or energy. The power to call up new sights in the mind is vision. Isn't that something? Think about that for a minute. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. The power to call up new sights hmm, in the mind is vision. Mm -hmm. Vision is creative hope to the believer or saint of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without vision, people perish into lack of knowledge. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is vision power for holy living. Yeah. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is vision power for holy living. I had fainted or perished unless I believed in the vision of the goodness of God. Good God, huh? Oh, yeah, we do wrong. We make mistakes. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I and mean, we're sorry for all the mistakes. I know you're sorry for all of your mistakes, but we make mistakes. Amen. And that's why the Word of God says that we need to forgive. Yeah. Mm hmm. The grace or goodness of God is seen in the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the express image or vision of God. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus is the blueprint or pattern of God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who shall reward us according to our works. Our work is the use of Christ's strength in order to get something done. Jesus is our power tool. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's our power. Yeah. We are a workmanship created unto good works. We're talking about new vision. Yeah. What are good works? Works that will endure all tests. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your vision determines your work perception. Look at this word. N-O-W-H-E-R-E. -E. Nowhere, you say? Hmm. 
Okay. It can also be now here. It depends on your perception. Did you see nowhere or now here? Just say ow, O W, ow. Mm. Ow is a response to sudden pain, according to a newer dictionary. What does O W mean? What does ow mean? One way to God. Yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> o W, one way. One way to God. That's a song, you know. One, one, one way to God. Yeah, yeah. A new vision is out to God. One way to God. Psalm 37 lists nine new vision statements. Every saint needs PMS. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. PMS. Uh huh. Yeah. Every saint needs PMS. PMS is the new vision solution for a victorious living. Yeah, we all need victory. Yes, we do. At some time or another, it's going to be a testing time for victory. Yeah. PMS sets daily guidelines for holy living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. PMS eliminates an unstable lifestyle. A lifestyle without PMS may be hazardous to Christian living. We're talking about a new vision. A hazardous lifestyle may mean tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Mm -hmm. By the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Yes, sir. Yes, they do. Praise God. They lie in wait to deceive. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. PMS. All right, here we go. PMS stands for Personal Mission Statement. Okay, I'm going to help you out again. PMS means Personal Mission Statement. Yeah. A personal mission statement is your new vision of belief. Without a vision, people perish. Do the cares of this world have you downcast? New vision statement. Okay. Let's make a statement. Let's make a charge. Let's make a commitment. Let's make a conviction. Yeah. A new vision statement. 1 Peter 5, 7. Care. Christians always receive encouragement. Care. Christians always receive encouragement. Yes. Yes. That's what Jesus does. He is an encourager. He'll lift you up. Yes, he will. Hmm. If you ever been down, huh? If you ever been depressed, mm hmm, suppressed? Have you ever been knocked down? Have you ever done something you never thought you would ever do before? Oh my God! Mm. A new vision statement. Care, Christians, always receive encouragement, and we can look at Psalm. 37, those nine things. <laughs> fret not yourself. Don't do it. Don't fret. Fret not yourself. Mm -mm. Number two, trust in the Lord and do good. Don't just trust and do nothing, but trust in the Lord and do good. Delight yourself in the Lord. Commit your way unto the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Number six, cease from anger. Yeah. Anger will tear you up. Yes, it will. Mm-hmm. Number seven, depart 
from evil and do good. Don't be a part of it. Walk away from it. Don't be a part of it. No. Mm-mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think about the, the last job interview uh, that I had. And I was looking to be a, a custodian uh, in a hospital. And I was told right up that I had to work every other weekend. And I said, no, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Our bishop told us, do not take a job, amen, that's going to keep you out of church. So then, I can't accept that job. So I'm still considering looking for a job while I'm weekend free. Yeah. And then, so what happened? <laughs> uh, I, I saw someone I used to work with uh, years ago. My goodness, that had been a whole long time ago, a uh, custodian at Winton Woods uh, Middle School. Yeah. And uh, he was telling me, I've gone back to work. He said, hey, you retired, haven't you? And of course, you know, I nodded my head. Uh, yeah. He was telling me I should go to HR, go to HR and, and see about uh, working uh, again. Well, I, one thing for sure, I will not be working uh, weekends. <laughs> But I have not. I have not done that yet. No, I have not done that yet. Because I got some advice uh, from my lovely wife, my devoted wife. Yeah. Yeah. Jan told me. She said, "Don't you be taking no job, uh, unless the Lord come down Himself and sees you face to face and tells you to go back to work." <laughs> Glory, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. We're talking about a new vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's one thing to talk faith, and it's another thing to live faith. Oh, God! Make the provision in Jesus' name. Mark the perfect man, number nine. Mark the perfect man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The perfect man or woman is identified in James 3.2. Might want to write these down, uh, unless you go ask for this book. <laughs> The perfect man or woman identified in James 3.2, Ephesians 4.13, 2 Corinthians 13.11, and Psalm 37.37. These scriptures are a testament of new vision living for the saint of God. Impossible, you say, for a saint? To live a perfect life? A perfect life is impossible with man. Huh. But with God, all things are possible. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All things are possible. You got to keep working at it with a new vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A new determination. An earnest effort. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Don't fall asleep at the wrong time. Glory. Hallelujah. Accidents in our lives happen because we fall asleep at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. The Bible declares that Noah and Job were perfect men in their generation. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. So we got a ways to go. Let's go. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm. And all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Job had a vision of godly reverence. My, my, my. Haven't things changed? There's so much going on inside the church building that has nothing to do with worship or praise. Ah! Glory! Mm. My, my, my. Protocol's out the window. Sacredness is out the window. What did Jesus say? My house should be called a house of prayer for all people. But you have made it a den of thieves. A new vision. Get back to the sacredness, the reverence of God. Yeah. New vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
a new vision. That's what we want. Yes, we do. We want a new vision. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Our God is worthy. Yes, he is. He is so worthy. Yes, he is. Mm. Job had a vision of godly reverence. Job acknowledged God's blessings in all things. That's Job 121. He acknowledged the blessings of God. How sweet it is! <laughs> when you read Deuteronomy uh, 28, in those first 13 verses, there's some blessings in the city, in the field, and everything that you touch. It's about blessing because we're obedient to the Word of God. Yeah. Can't make it without the Word of God. You can't live new vision without the Word of God. Mm hmm. It's all about the Word. Yes, it is. Yeah, mm hmm In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. You are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, mm hmm Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. It's through him, yeah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto God except through me. It's all by Jesus. A new vision, yeah. Mm hmm What a mighty God we serve. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Yes, he is. He's a mighty God. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Christ. Mm-hmm. It's all about Christ. Baptism is a faith operation of God. <laughs> yes, baptism, my brother, my sister, baptism. Can't get to heaven without it. You must be, got to be, born again. Sure enough, baptism is a faith operation of God that makes us complete or perfect in Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that. In Christ, you're a new creature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You put him on through a baptism. It's in the Word of God. In Christ, we are perfect Going on to perfection, according to Paul in Philippians 3, 15. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on a journey. Vision, a new vision, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spiritual eyes, spiritual mind, spiritual thoughts. Yes, spiritual strategy, spiritual energy. Yes, a new a new vision, yeah, yeah. A new vision captures our every thought and imagination to bring them in line with the Word of God. It's the Word of God that we need, yeah. Uh-huh. It's got to be real inside of us. We must live according to the Word of God. Oh, yeah. Uh, very important to read and to live and to breathe <laughs> the word of God. Yes, it's all right. Blessed be the name of our God. In Jesus' name, amen.